Hi, today I'm going to be answering these questions. How did you go about honing your skills as an artist? What was your preferred method of practice? What would you consider to be the most important skills to understand and hone? How much time did you invest into your training on a daily, weekly basis? Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on The Simpsons Television Show. I've been working on the show for over 20 years now. Uh, I recently got asked by a uh, art student. Uh, it was part of their assignment to uh, contact a professional and ask them uh, a few questions. This is only part one of a lot of different questions, that, uh, sections of questions that he asked me. So I'm going to uh, release videos answering all his all the questions in chunks. Now the art student, when he contacted me, he was asking me to you know answer the questions via email. But I thought that there was so much information that I needed to relay that I decided uh, I asked him if I could record it on and so. I sent him the recordings already. Uh, however, the thing is that the recordings were all done on my phone. So uh, I'm just a heads up. The audio is going to be a lot different than what you're used to uh, coming from me. Um, you could hear the, the the definite change in audio. I breathe into the phone and that sort of thing. It's It, it picks up a lot more noise. Uh, so I just wanted to give you a heads up about that because this was all audio only I didn't have a video to go along with it I went around scrounging around to see if I could find a video that I could use just as visuals and it turns out that I had Made a video with no audio of just me drawing something so uh, That's what you're gonna see on the screen. You're gonna see me drawing something uh, finishing up a drawing however uh, the audio has nothing to do with the vi with the visuals just wanted to let you know, but at least you're going to be able to see something on the screen while I answer these questions. The questions were specifically about how you become a professional and how you make a living doing art. Um, that's the point. That was one of the questions that this art student was trying to ask. So this set of questions is a little bit more uh, my personal history. Uh, and we'll go from there and then I will introduce each part as, a, as, I, as I release them. I hope you get a lot out of this. And uh, without further ado, here's the video. All right, so I'm going to start ask, answering your questions here, beginning with the first batch. Uh, for You're going to have to forgive me if there's any noise in the background. I'm at home with the kids, and uh, I got a lot of kids, so uh, I might get interrupted and uh, end up having to uh, uh, break this up into little bits. All right, so... Here comes the first question. The first questions are about my education. Uh, okay, so how did you go about honing your skills as an artist? Were you mentored or self-taught? A little bit of both. Uh, mostly self-taught. I mean, you just grow up drawing, right? That's, that's kind of how I started. I just started drawing uh, from elementary school, and all I did, uh, and I did that for fun. So that's sort of where where it starts uh, I think uh, people call it talent it's not really talent it's just desire to be able to do something and the more you do it the better you get at it so uh, that's really what it is um, later on uh, I did have a really good uh, art teacher in high school but and he taught us a lot of really good fundamentals uh, which I didn't appreciate at the time uh, like perspective and um, and uh, drawing still lifes and drawing self-portraits and things like that. Um, but that's, that really, but, but he didn't really teach us how to draw. He told us what to do, which, I, like I said, was drawing still lifes and self-portraits. And the one thing that he really did teach us is, is, is perspective. But that was about it. The rest of it was self-taught. However... Um, once I got into the industry, that's when I started actually educating myself and going to school. Uh, maybe I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, practice is often regarded as the most important part of improving artistic ability. What was your uh, preferred methods of practice? What did, you, what did you find to be the most effective methods? Okay. So here's the thing. I hated practicing. Um, I had, well, it's not, well, you know what? It's not that I hated practicing. It's that I didn't know what practicing was. Um, in fact, I haven't actually known what practicing uh, is, should be until maybe uh, a few months ago uh, when I uh, was reading a book called Practice Perfect, 
when uh, they kind of broke down practice uh, into um, into drills, basically. Uh, they compared it to sports and many other things. And uh, that's when I realized that I'd never, ever practiced. <laughs> so... Um, the the what did I do to practice? Well, I, I just I just drew. I drew what I thought was practicing. Um, um, you know, I would I would I would copy things a lot, um, especially in elementary school. I would copy a lot, and that helps uh, hand eye coordination. That helps uh, being able to see, and that gives your body uh, conditioning as to how to draw certain things, which is great. Um, I, I did, uh, you know, learn construction or at least attempted to, or try to understand it when I was in high school. Um, but the, the, the truth is uh, I, I drew, I went to the zoo and I drew animals and I drew, uh, I went on the, out and, and, and sketched people. Um, but, uh, really where my, my real learning, uh, actually occurred was in a figure drawing uh, classes that I took around the time of high school, like when I was in se a senior in high school, there were classes specifically for high school kids in, at, over at Art Center on the weekends, and I went there, and that's where I really, really began to really learn to draw, uh, were in those high school figure drawing classes in Art Center. So before then, um, and this I guess goes back to the whole mentor uh, self-taught thing, um, I really wor wasn't getting any kind of instruction at all. So uh, once I hit the figure drawing classes, though, that's when my stuff started really, really improving. That's when I started to see what I needed to do. But I didn't really practice figure drawing outside of class, except unless you count my uh, sketches outside of class, uh, sketching people and things like that. Um, and it was bad. Like that, that stuff was really bad. And I had no instruction on sketching either. So uh, I, I don't know how helpful that was, but at least I was trying. That's, that's really what it is. Um, next question. What would you consider to be the most important skill to understand and hone? For example, perspective, line work, composition, form, value, shadows. Well, that depends completely on what you want to get into. Uh, when I was in uh, in uh, getting in, uh, the recommended skill that we needed to hone was figure drawing. And that was it, the end. There was like really no other skill um, uh, because everything else was going to be taught to us in the studio itself. Uh, so figure drawing, what, they, what the studios really wanted to see is that, if you, that, that you could draw because what you were wanting to do is get in at entry, entry level which was cleanup. And if you could draw, then they'll hire you for cleanup, and then you can learn all the rest. However, if you want to get into animation, you got to learn animation. So I also learned how to animate so that I knew what I was doing. So in high school, again, when um, there, was a, I, there was an ROP program in another high school, my friends and I went to that other high school where they taught us animation. So we did, uh, I did a short. I did an animated short. Um, but we learned all everything the bouncing ball the you know the head turns the the pendulum swing uh, all that uh, very elementary stuff so that I, we could learn timing and animation and what the process was and key keyframes and in betweening uh, all that stuff uh, is something that I learned how to do uh, so that I could also uh, know uh, get hired as an animator because I wanted to get become an animator so uh, What's the most important thing that uh, you need to do? Well, it completely depends on what your end goal is. And if your end goal is being a concept artist or a character designer, um, if, you're, if it's a concept artist, you better learn how to do everything. Concept art design uh, is important, uh, which requires, uh, uh, well, design principles and then perspective and uh, construction and, and observation and, uh, you know, being able to put things together. And same with design. If you're going to be a character designer, uh, draw people, uh, design your own characters. You have to know anatomy and construction and, and figure drawing and, and everything. So um, 
Uh, at this point in the industry, uh, if you're lacking in something, it's going to be, uh, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt you. So it's better to be able to do uh, everything. Um, so uh, if your question is, so, but, but, and, but, but be specific, uh, hone uh, a direction that you want to uh, have a goal in mind. So uh, learn that stuff with a goal in mind. Um, for example, uh, so, but, but, you know, perspective, yes, you need the line work. Yes. You need that too. composition. Absolutely. You need that too. forms. Yes. Valleys. Yes. Shadows. Yes. Like everything. Like <laughs> how much time did you invest into your training on a daily or weekly basis? When I was, um, trying desperately to get in, um, uh, well, I was going to figure drawing uh, as often as I could, and I went sketching as often as I could, and I went to the zoo as often as I could. Um, I was basically drawing all the time, and that was only because uh, that was what I did anyway. I mean, that's I did that all the time anyway. I mean, that's what I did for fun. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's if if you're serious, you do it like uh, all the time. Uh, uh, specifically, what you're. Uh, want to get hired as you just start getting better and better at doing that one thing uh, you got to also remember that I was in high school most of the time that I was kind of b- before I got hired um, I'm one of those unique people who uh, who got hired right out of high school but that's not because I was good um, that was just because I was in the right place at the right time in the right place time of the in the industry so i'll probably talk about that at some other point but the point is that if you want to get better at drawing and if you want to get hired you do you do what you need to do uh and and um in this day and age in now a days uh when it's a little bit different than what i than back when um i started out when you do what you do put it online do it and then put it online. Uh, have people see what you do. Um, even if you don't think it's good enough, just keep doing it and, and, uh, and uh, show it to people. And um, somebody might think it's good. Somebody will. So, um, and uh, maybe they'll hire you uh, just off the stuff you're doing at, at whatever level you think you're at. Okay? So, um, that's what I would say about that. Okay, so that, those were the first questions. Um, and um, I'll stop the recording here, and then I'll, I'll get to the other ones. If you found this video valuable, I would like to encourage you to return value for value by becoming one of my patrons over on Patreon. Not only will you encourage me to continue making informative videos that are useful to you, but you get extra perks too. For only a small investment of a dollar a month, you can get all new videos I create months before anyone else gets to see it. Also, if you have any questions you'd like me to answer as a patron, you get priority and I answer your questions first. On top of that, when you're a patron at any level, you become part of a raffle where I send original art via mail to the winner of that month. The higher that your tier, the better your opportunity to win. Higher tier patrons also get access to any art I do in high res JPEGs and also full access to PSD files to any work I do, including the PSD files of these videos. Currently, there's a huge backlog of downloadable files you can get. So right away, you're going to get quite a lot of bang for your buck. And the more patrons I get, the better these videos will get. The more content I can produce. In other words, the more you benefit. Please consider becoming a patron. Thanks. The link to my Patreon is on the screen and in the description of this video.